when we were at the liquor store today, or of course the other day, and I noticed they got some hard root beer in, 5% alcohol. So we got a couple of cans. So we're going to try it out right here on camera, live. We're going to do, <clears throat> do a review on it and see what we think. So here comes the, uh, <clears throat> the Fishy and Toy Man's <clears throat> first live alcohol review on hard root beer. Yeah. Okay. So I'll show the what it is. It's crazy uncle. Yeah. Craft soda for grown ups. Mm hmm Am I a grown up? Mm-hmm. I'm a big girl now. Okay. Five percent alcohol. Uh-huh. What? Four hundred and seventy three milliliters. Yeah. Alcohol beverage. Smooth and rich and natural and flavors, it says on the back. So. <clears throat> I think I'm not. Well, we'll see if I like it or not. Like, it's, like got, it's got licorice root in it. <gasps> no, that's what it says. Where? Oh, we will probably like it then. Mm, licorice root with a creamy vanilla finish. Yes. So. Oh, uh, that sounds nice. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of a nice, attractive can. It is. I like the can. Too. So, so I can. Kind of, I'm kind of thinking I might want. You know, you I know, know you usually like to return these, but you know how you kept the 1919 can. Yeah. I might keep this. Well, because this is worth 10 cents. Yeah. Can I keep it? The 1919 can is worth nothing. But can I keep it for 10 cents? I have to pay you 10 cents to keep it. Yeah. Yes, you can keep it. <laughs> Crazy guy. All right. There we go. Here, wait, wait, wait. Go back. We gotta, we gotta like stand still. Uh, so, like, we, yeah, put it over more. The other way. The other way. That way. And then let's put our heads together in between. It'll be a thumbnail. See? One, two, three. There we go. Okay. Now, if I can find that again, we'll do that. We'll use that. All right. Yeah, show the, there you go. Not too much of a head on that one, huh? Yeah. Ooh, is it, oh, I think it's too much for the. <laughs> I always think that. <laughs> All right, so not much of a head, but it does got a nice color to it. Hi, as dirt. you can see. You guys see me? You gonna watch me? Okay, you're gonna watch Fishy pour hers. Me? See how much I can spill. All right. There we go. It does have a nice color to it. Let's smell it first. Mm. Smells like root beer. Mm. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. you Cheers. Said? Cheers. Ah, look, mine still has a head on it. What do you think? I can taste the vanilla in it. They don't taste too much of the uh, <clears throat> to the licorice, though. They don't mm -hmm. taste too much of the licorice. Taste more vanilla. Well, wonder if that more bitter thing is the licorice, or that's well, alcohol. I don't find it bitter. I find it very smooth. It's smooth, but I mean, like, there's that one hint of mm -hmm. that one taste in there. I kind of, that might be the like. But, uh, but it is good. Yeah. It is a nice, smooth drink. It is. It does taste nice. Like, you do know a lot of licorice products, they use the extract called anise in it because it's a cheaper thing to use. Mm -hmm. So, 
there is no anise in here, and that might be what we're looking for. Liquor for it actually isn't quite that tasty. Right. That's really nice. I kind of like that. It has a, yeah. It's, I like how it's strong. Hi. It's it's uh, eight thirty, oh. I think. Wow. Yeah. Well, I'll have to wait until tomorrow. I'm going to get some more of this tomorrow. I see, because I closed by 9. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This yeah. is good. And I'm not driving. No. Neither one of us. I mean, yeah. I, I don't want to drive it. I don't care if it's only a few and I, I'm not playing, paying the uh, delivery cost for this kind of stuff. So. You shouldn't have to do that with any of the stuff. Whatever what's the world's okay. <laughs> That's really good. I really like that. That's nice. <clears throat> now I have never seen this in a liquor store until until the other day. Yeah, I saw it. Remember? Yeah. Remember? I looked yeah. and like, oh, root beer. Yeah. Yeah, it's eight thirty for us. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The liquor store closes in half an hour. <clears throat> By the time I make a phone call and make my and put my order in, yeah, you know, they won't make it in time. So. No. It's too close stuff. Mm -hmm. It's okay. We have enough yeah. for tonight of things. Yeah, there's one more uh, home bay left. I'll have that. And there's one more of these left. Yeah. And that's it for the other one. It's fine. So. so, yeah, that is really, I'm going to buy 12 of these. Those are nice. It's like, uh, it has more flavor, I would say, than 1919, and it has alcohol mm -hmm. in it, too. Yeah. Like, it has more, it brings out the vanilla more, I think, and stuff, other tones in it. It's good. So, if anybody wants to try some hard root beer, wherever you are, and you see it, go ahead and try something. You might like it. It all well, depends on how it is. Crazy Uncle. The crazy Uncle. I haven't hey. ever mm. heard of that before. Uh, let's see. Where are they? Uh, where's the brews from? Craft, crafted in Canada. Oh, it's it's a Canadian thing. See, that's why I want to keep the can. I keep the can. Uh, and it's got all the ingredients on the back, too. Well, right here. Yeah. Smooth and rich, natural flavors of sarsaparilla, wintergreen. Well, wintergreen is like a mint, right? Mm -hmm. And licorice root with a creamy vanilla finish. Mm -hmm. Ingredients are in the back. Oh, carbonated water, cane sugar, vodka, caramel color, citric acid, natural flavors, potassium, sodium, you know, the preservatives, but. So more or less, this is, it's not a beer, it's vodka. It's, it's a vodka root beer. Yeah. Basically is what it is. So, yeah, very nice. Good, nice on that one. Yeah, there's. <clears throat> All right, so crazy uncle, you did a good job on that one here. Now pay me. I yeah, just I just promoted you. you. We I sponsor you. Yeah, sponsor our show. Or yo, you sponsor us. I'm not sponsor we, the Toy Man Fisher Show, I'm and we will promote you this. We promoted you. I'm <laughs> sorry. No, we're not sponsoring you, but we promoted you, and you can sponsor yeah. us. Yeah. Other way. <laughs> uh, oh well. No, oh, it is good. So. Anybody here in Canada who <clears throat> lives in Ontario that's got a liquor store, hey, go check it out. Buy one of these and see what you think. I suppose you can't take these over the border, huh? Uh, no. Really? No. I can take an empty one. That's right? called bootlegging. I can bring an empty one, all right, if you can. Now, <clears throat> if they have that at the duty-free shop, that's the only time. That's the only time you can take alcohol across the border is because you have to buy it from the duty free shop, and then you can take it. Just, just don't, just don't buy too much of it, or else they're going to look at you funny. If you buy too many gauges, they'll be like, "Yeah, right, okay, you're taking that across, so you can sell it." Right? <laughs> maybe I'll now that I see the ingredients on it, maybe I'll just make it myself. We need some vodka. Well, it depends on what kind of vodka they use. And probably the 120 same. one, right? 120 buck one, probably. Well, there's different types of vodka. Remember though. that one? Different, different brands. Remember that one? Different strengths of vodka. Yeah, I know. 
<clears throat> yeah. Oh, we could get Everclear. Have you heard of that? Everclear, I think it's called. It's like stronger than vodka. You know that, right? It's like a, I don't know, 110, 120 proof or something weird. Well, that was a 40 ounce of, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, that was a 40 ounce of vodka that we looked at, and it was basically 117 bucks for 40 ounce. Mm -hmm. I told you shit here was expensive in Canada, even alcohol. Mm -hmm. 